Good day everyone, my name is Coopalate and welcome back to another episode of Civ 5 Civilization Challenge playing as Greece. It has been quite a long while since I've actually played this game. In the last two episodes you most recently saw were recorded before a this you know, recent like month long break where I couldn't upload anything because the internet was terrible. Um so yeah, it's been, been a while since I've played. Uh, I luckily with having those two episodes kind of on backlog already re you know already made just waiting to be in it to work so I could upload them uh, I have a worker down here what is that sending you to I'm going to assume the farm there's only plus one food granted hmm probably would be best to do those to get more food running yeah but uh, you know, luckily, I did have the, um, those two on backlog. Uh, it was kind of a you know good thing rather than you know, having to come back and re-record new ones right away. So that way, I could kind of get back into what the heck I was doing since it's been so long. The last time I had said you know I was going to try and decide whether or not I was going to build the oracle, and I have decided not to. Yes, it's only eight turns, and I can actually save, shave it down to seven if I move some workers up here to the hills and actually will be growing here in one turn and I think did the mine finish in one turn yeah the mine's gonna be finished in one turn too uh, so that'll shave it down you know, by a turn down to seven turns which is good but I have a feeling that probably one of the other nations is already working on it I mean it's uh, turn 131 we're a long ways into this game and Oracle hasn't been built. It's someone else is probably building it by now. And there are other things that we really need to get. We don't want to go too wonder happy. We have other things we need. We need more cargo ships. Uh, heck, maybe even a caravans. It's, well, could potentially do a cargo ship all the way to Sparta, but we can't actually see through here yet. We can't even see through here yet, so we can't do any, cargo, uh, any ships to... Polynesia. So, yeah, we need that. We need a work boat or two down here. It would be good to get some more military. You know, at least another trium and a Gallius. And of course we need markets and harbors and other stuff. There's a lot of stuff we need. Uh, and I want to focus on that stuff. Rather than go... You know, Oracle is really nice, but I'd rather finish up these other things that would help us a lot more right now um, and of course we do also need to make a settler at some point to come settle over here so there's that as well in fact I'm wondering if we should do that first we got tons of happiness and we're good on the gold for the moment might be a good idea it takes three turns though oh we will have to wait at least Ooh. hiccups we'll have to wait at least uh, one turn so our a city can grow, Athens can grow. So, something to do until then. Wait, Trium is coastal, isn't it? It's astronomy that gives us the caravel, which can enter. Oh, shit, yeah, I guess so never mind. We don't really need it through the Trium, I don't think. Well, we could use one for extra scouting. It's like down here, especially. So it might actually be a good idea. Or we can spend a couple more turns building something else that will help as well. Would it be good to kill get the writer's guild? But I want to work these high production tiles first. Uh, harbor, city connections. It's going to be a while before we can build a harbor down in Sparta, though. Markets, of course, is going to be needed at some point. I think I'm just going to do a, uh, a trying first and then build the settler. So, moving over for some reason. Show Q, add to Q, and build a settler after that. It'll take four turns. Next turn. Wales for four gold and open borders. I do you want to keep this guy happy for now? 
But let's take seven gold because I don't want open borders. <laughs> Not really. It would be kind of nice to scout through your area, but I can scout down the coast. And that's all I really need. Alright, you... Start heading back since you can't see anything more there. You come up to here. Oh, hand X up there. We'll have to deal with that, I guess. Uh, we get another Trium. I suppose you should come up and scout this area first. Hello, <laughs> Double Archer. Wasn't expecting that. Of course, we need to scout that tile, which we just have, so now we can start heading back home. Uh, you need orders in a bit. What do I actually want to improve? Yes, lock down that mine. We want that. Hmm. Of course, it's because the cellar were stagnating at the moment. Um. Not many more times. Oh, well, this thing will be getting the whales soon. Yeah, two more turns till it gets the whales. So, yeah. We're not going to be using any land tiles anytime soon, I think. We should, I probably then, get started on a road. Because our third city here will be in, and I am, again, thinking right here. This will give us three bananas and a citrus. It's not the absolute best in the world, but hey, works. Of course here you could get the bison, but the bison, yeah, because the bison's outside of Sparta's range, but the bison isn't too important, it doesn't really give us anything, we'll, and the bananas will be better for us than the bison will be. And the flatlands on the river will allow us to get windmill. Of course, actually, if we go over here, here, we could actually get this iron within range as well. That's a bit farther away from Sparta. I'm not sure if I want to go over quite that far. Hmm. I just think that this would be a better position because the road will go straight to the city. And then it won't be too difficult to get to Sparta. Thinking like a road out here and then maybe through here, potentially. Or here, and then down here to here. Something like that will work. Road, you know, from up here to down here won't be perfect, of course, but it's a little bit better. And we don't really need the iron to be uh, a use tile. You, you will want it inside of our borders eventually so that we can get the resource. But we don't need to necessarily work it. Will be nice because it's a production tile and there's not many production tiles here, at least with the jungle everywhere. We could clear some of the jungle off of the hills and use the for production. And potentially clear some of the jungle along the river to make some farmland. And then leave the rest of the jungle for universities. I just really like this spot right here. Better than I do up here. Especially since up here we get start getting more Plains, which I don't really want. I prefer to get all this nice juicy grassland in here. So yeah, I think that is the best spot for us. So come up here and start building that road. Took a bit of damage from the archer. Kind of expected that. Kind of a free shot, is essentially. More fish and whales up here, along with six iron. Woo, that's quite a bit. Ooh, in a city-state. Ormus. Ally is Arabia. Their maritimes would be of food. Hostile personality. Two Polish scouts up here. A lot of fish up here, this wouldn't be a half bad city spot if it wasn't for the fact that this is all tundra. Although I guess the fish would give you a lot of food to help compensate for that and the tundra would give you a lot of production. Hmm. It's a possibility. But I don't think it's the best spot in the world. 
Sparta now has three citizens, so we can come down here and check the management. Uh, yeah, definitely hold on the salt. And yeah, hold on to the horses for now. I suppose. Especially since we're upgrading that. And you, uh, hmm. We do quite well against him, so I guess take a bite out of him. See if we can't kill the guy. Route to... Here. You need orders, because you need to head back home. Embassy with you. I am still going to refuse you. He's just been too hostile. I don't want him knowing where I am because I don't think he's scouted me yet. Head through Florence. Oh, hello. Hmm. I guess go here and then kill this guy. And I suppose we could take another bite out of him, even if he is in jungle. Reformation added to Buddhism. I should probably check. Well, first off, didn't double check our demographics. Number one in approval ratings. So we're top in happiness. Pre still pretty low on literacy. Only seventh. <laughs> Next to last, actually. So that isn't the best. Really low in soldiers, too. Lowest on land low on a lot of other things other than population we're still pretty high on because we built you know tall instead of wide so let's take a look see in here holy <laughs> holy moly that is a lot of resources and horses jeez if you could plop a city on top of this deer you'd get all of that stuff, that is, that is just crazy. This is definitely a you know, good spot for a city then. I'm trying to find the best spot. The best spot would literally be on the deer because you'd get all of the sea resources then. Kind of suck losing the deer. Though. Milan and Polynesia are now allies. Where's Milan? Oh, way over there. Oh, Hoplite got a promotion. Yeah, here's the little edit thing to edit their name. Uh, don't really need a name for this guy, though. A rough terrain. Yeah, it's mostly rough terrain. I mean, there's a bit of flat terrain around Sparta, but mostly rough terrain everywhere else. So, go with that. Kill the hand axe with our archer, and heal this guy back up. You're finally ready for some new production. All right. Well, first off, can we purchase a workboat? Yes, we can. So let us do that. We could, of course, you know, use our money for sea estates, but we need to help our city here grow, because there's not a lot of food here unless we start working those ocean tiles. Uh, what do we want to build? Probably the lighthouse, I'm assuming, would be the best for us. Yeah, let's just start doing that. And we got our settler ready to go. Quickest way to get down here. So, looking at the spots it's suggesting, here is absolutely awful. That's, and it's just stupid. I mean, the city right here... No. Here. Oh, I didn't actually realize. Here is actually in range of all three bananas. And the iron. Hmm. Still not a big f fan of the spot, though. I, I still like this one better. It would give us an extra resource, though. I just like this spot more. It's a tough decision, though. Because it would give us a bit more production. 
You have slapped a mine on top of there. But I think we could do fine down here. And I just like this spot overall better. Yeah, I think I'm thinking I'm gonna go with what my original plan was. And it will take five turns. Apparently has to go through the ocean tile first. And send our archer out to deal with it. And then we can start building more things here. So first things first. We will want several things. But we have to decide what we want first. Let's go with the market, I suppose. Almost home, Jimmy. Almost home. Good lord, all the resources. It's, it's honestly kind of ridiculous how many resources are up there. Yeah, again, it's kind of honestly ridiculous how many resources are right here. So... Uh. Oh, you need orders. All right. Uh, you still have your farm to build, so finish building that freaking farm. Oh, there's the oracle. It's been what four? Five, it's been like five turns, so I don't think we would have finished it. Uh, the whales for cotton. Yeah, let's keep that going. And Arabia has declared war on the only thing that saves us no, from the service is its inefficiency. Not too much there for us, but we needed it for education. It will help for our city down here though. Um yeah, Arabia no not Arabia. Assyria has declared war on the Aztecs. A lot of A civilizations in this game. See, it looks like this guy. Who are you again? Indonesia? Right, yeah, Indonesia. Doi. The capital's freaking Jakarta. Of course, it's Indonesia. It was the one that got the Oracle. So, I guess it's a good thing that I didn't go after it. Uh, you come over here. Fishing boats. And then. Yeah, you're already locked down on that. Good. Um, suppose go up here next. And you need to make your way over here to do some scouting. Looks like this way will be the best way to come. And you can just sit here on top of this whale and heal. And you're coming up over here. See what's up here. Get as much vision as we can. It's a surprisingly good spot. Uh, you just wait. Next turn. No caravan. It's a good thing we're getting that market going. Probably want to get a caravansary as well. If we don't have one already, I don't remember if we do. Patronage. That will cause influence to degrade 25% slower than it already is. Yes. It needs orders. Mine. And just sit there. We can actually already upgrade this to a pikeman now. I think I'm going to save my bit of money for the moment. Although upgrading the archer is something that we should probably do. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to wait right here. <laughs> Don't want to get shot by another arrow. Did you finally finish the farm? Yes, you did isn't showing yet, but he did finish it. So I'll go mine the iron so we can get that hooked up to our resources. Comes at Bowman. Uh, 
I could have just done it to there anyways, but whatever. Nothing's going to get to it when it's sitting there. Texcoco has been captured by Assyria. Spark demands. Ormus looks for faith. At the lead, but that's only one turn. Incredible natural wonders in the world that remain undiscovered. You know, Eif. Or Eif, or whatever the heck it is supposed to be called. Over now. So, Texcoco. Tenochtitlan is the capital. We really can't. Oh, there's Texcoco. Ugh. This guy seems to be pretty strong. One thing I had actually meant to look up that I didn't finish doing is religions. What the different phase have taken. Use phase to produce industrial era and later land units. Hmm. Seems to go in more military there. 100% gold when each city can first converts to this religion, plus some food from camps. Faith to purchase pre industrial. Yeah, it's, it's using faith for both pre industrial and uh, industrial later units. So it's going full military on there. Uh, Polynesian Pantheon with this culture from past years. Our faith, of course, is sitting there. Islam is increased combat strength, gain science when it spreads, and faith to purchase monasteries. Indonesian Pantheon with this fascist growth rate. Catholicism, culture from plantations, pagodas, mosques, missionary conversion strength, and faith for each foreign city following the religion. Buddhism was gold gifts are increased, basically, which actually would have been good for us, but requires the Reformation, which we're nowhere near again, which I actually, Reformation, I believe, is actually the cultural one, so I don't think we would have even gotten it. Missionaries and Inquisitors, costless faith, plus 1% protection for each follower, 15 influence, resting point, city-states, they're going, you know, stuff that we would have that would have been good, actually been good with us. Temples provide plus two happiness in cities with five followers. And plus two faith from quarries. And cultural jungle tiles for the Aztec pantheon. Not really anything up here, so try to come back, although we're probably going to get shot. Alright, so you keep on venturing east. So there were some interesting selections with the religion there. Ma no longer leads investors. Probably just their ally, cultured. Would be nice to get them, but we were a bit low on money. Getting a decent amount right now, but uh, we'll need to get some more cargo ships going. Well, looks like we finished our market. Uh, caravans we would be good. Especially since we are getting a caravan coming to us. But I think we should... We, uh, the next growth will go to the whales. But since we got that whales now, we should actually hook it up. So that's gonna work out first. And yeah, we got shot. Uh, we can't go fully through Ormus. And yeah, look, we found an actual wonder, Krakatoa. So by not going through Ormus, we managed to find a natural wonder, which will help us with that one city-state that was asking for it. Krakatoa is kind of a weird wonder, though, because you pretty much never ever end up with it inside of your borders. I have never seen a situation where you even could, well, I have seen situations where you could get inside your borders, but no situation where it would ever be good to do it. Because it's always out in the middle of the ocean. So right here, make sure we can still get that banana in bounds on board. 
And I suppose there's no reason not to found our city right now, so let's do it. Corinth. And first thing you are going to do is... Well, you're not going to really have pretty much anything in production for a while. So go ahead and just build a shrine. And you're going to learn. Ife. So we're now friends with them. Religious, so they give us some more faith, which is nice. Oh, and Genoa was one in it as well, so we're actually ally with them, so we get even more happiness. And get all of their strategic and luxury goods, so we get four horses off of them. That's good, plus some luxuries. Although I think we're already getting luxuries. Polynesia is no longer the ally of Milan. Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> and declaration of friendship with Polynesia has run its course. I didn't even know that we had made one. I think we had done it temporarily because we didn't intend to attack them anytime soon. And we'll probably do that again. Because it will be some time before we're really ready to attack those guys. Definitely at least three turns or so. And at least keep them friendly with us for now. to go around this way, actually. Get back home, because I didn't realize there were no coastal tiles there. You have healed up, so you can start heading back out. I want you to scout down here towards Sparta. So let's go ahead and do that. Production. Okay. We do need to get some trade routes going. Badly. So I think we want to build the harbor first, so that way we can see the increased range when we actually make it. Next turn. Finally see what's down here as well. You want our extra whales. You only have four groups per turn. No thank you. Borbadur has finally been built. Syria. Religious design was fur. Quebec City seats a great merchant. Converted to another religion, apparently. Apparently, we have 12 pressure from something. Must be a city down here, I'm assuming. Looks like it. Well, we'll have to convert it to our faith then once we get a missionary. Yes, head right on through. Next turn. Let's see what we can see down here in Poland. Cornus. Oh, well, there are indeed enemies near. Okay, so who do we attack first? Huh. Not sure if I want to bring the hoplite up or not. I suppose attacking the hand axe will be best since that's a ranged attack. Swordsman can just run itself into corners all at once. And is my worker safe? He's safe for now. He's almost done constructing that road, so he could potentially run away to Athens or to Cornus, run one of the ways. This guy could potentially be a bit of a problem, though, if we don't deal with him. He can't purchase any one of use. <laughs> of course. So, guess we'll just have to wait unless we can pump out someone really quickly. Especially, it's going to take a few turns. I suppose we should add to Q. Who would be best here? Get 
Companion Calvary. We should actually build some of those um, while we can. Let's see, when do those guys get outdated? I think with chivalry, with the knights. Is that when they first get outdated? And we'll probably be going after that relatively soon, so yeah. We'll want to build some of those guys. So we can get that great general promotion. Since that's the, about the only thing that's going to carry over for us as these units. Alright. What can we see here? It is indeed a city down here. Lods. Or Wads. Or something like that. I, I forget how exactly how you pronounce it. It's a Polish names can be weird sometimes. Got some pretty decent stuff over here. Incense, wine. Hmm. Nectarn. <laughs> Go see about the spearman over here, as if he's going to be attacked. And you nearly need to run into the city to heal up. Still constructing the road there. You already finished. Th there is road there. Um, yeah, and we're gonna run you into Athens. Yeah, there is already road there. You don't need to build it there. Oh, uh, well, that guy's moved away. So I suppose start firing on this guy now. Large public works project for Quebec City, maritime food. Not too, too important, but nice. Oh, Pete. How do you zoom in? Uh, I guess you can't zoom in in this view. Um, yeah, I suppose working this is best three food. I mean, I guess civil service does help down here with these farms. At least the ones that we put on the river. Rivers. That's... Uh, can't really do much else down here in terms of management. Uh, these, so I suppose you can just... Well, I would say wait, but you can actually get to work building the road. You just sleep in there for now. Until it's safe. Barbarian encampment. Well away from us, so we don't need to worry. Now the question is, do I want the world to go this way? This way? Or this way? That is a good question. Any of them would really work. It depends on what I think is the best. I'm actually kind of... Th oh, this is all flat land, so we don't really need the road so much there. Through here, through the jungle, or through here, through that jungle. But next to the mountain would probably be best. I'm actually kind of thinking through here. So, let's build a road here. And get you out of there. One more turn before we end this episode. No. <laughs> For the millionth time, no. That is the phone, so I'll be right back. And we are back. Uh, let's move you here first to get that tiny bit of scouting. Not that we can get much there. Alright, so... I want to actually deliver the killing blows with my archer, so... This guy might just run into the city and kill himself, so let's us kill him with the archer first. This guy won't kill himself, so don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's pillaging. Now has two citizens. Lock down that one. 
Wisdom of a great scientist. Yeah, going to construct a road there. Yeah, we're going to do some scouting along here. Where's this guy going? Down here somewhere. Let's zoom out a bit. Down there, so there must be something down there that he's found. So we'll have to check that out. Anyway, I'll give it one more turn because of the phone call there. <laughs> Plus, I want to see what I can do here. Oh yeah, I forgot to actually look at what we could get for our whales. We'll do that before we go as well. Florence desires a trade route. When I can hit the guys with the city and use our companion cavalry to finish him off. Cornus can fire upon an enemy. Well, first off, we'll fire upon it ourselves. Uh, barrage. We could kill either of them. I'm going to kill this guy and not fire with the city, so that way I can kill the hand axe with the archer and get maximum experience. Is it out here? Go around this way. There's that city we know is around here somewhere. And yeah, that is an extremely vulnerable city. You can hit it with archers, you know, just normal archers from here across the water. And, you know, of course, even up here. And then you can attack from all sides of ships. That's going to be an easy one to take. Right, so you've killed that guy. See if you can see anything around here. There's the encampment with the horsemen in it, no less. Uh, where is our worker here? Worker, you come and repair all this stuff. Lock that guy down. You need orders to come back. Nope. Oh, I didn't actually realize it was next turn. Well, at least let the turn thing go through. And yes, yeah, since I did forget about checking for our... What we can get for our wheels, we'll do that. We'll get education. We can't actually fire upon the guy from here. So I suppose we'll wait. Uh, we'll decide our tech next time. What I wanted to check... Is, well, let's go to Diplomacy Overview, see what everyone has. Um, in terms of luxuries that we can get that we don't already have. Could get wine from Poland. Or cocoa or incense from Arabia. We don't have either of those, of course. Might be good to get something out of Arabia. Could, guess, could of course, get gold for our whales. Uh, but I would like to get some diversity on our happiness. And remember, we do want to get lots of happiness for our golden ages. We're actually going to get one here pretty soon. So, what do our cities want? You do want cocoa, and you want copper. So we're going to go over to Arabia. Trade. Let's get some cocoa. Where? Oh. Already given them whales. Must be. Dang it. <laughs> of diplomacy overview, deal history. Yeah, I'm giving him whales for silver at the moment. That will end on turn 149. So that'll actually end soon. So we can, uh, instead of getting the silver from him, get the cocoa. Uh, otherwise, I guess Poland. I want to keep him friendly for now as well. I'm already giving him something too, apparently. Okay, so Indonesia, Poland, Siam, and Arabia are the ones I'm already giving stuff to. So, Aztecs can't give me anything. Polynesia can only give me six gold right now. 
I can't really get anything from anyone else. So I guess we'll just hang on to it until we can do something more with it. But that will be it for this episode. Next time we'll get to choose our next education, our next production. I guess that was in Sparta. Yep, finished its lighthouse, which is good. That will help out a ton here. And you know, one turn we'll be able to work that other fish. Gonna need to get a workboat for that too. Actually, while we're here, 343. How long would it take to produce? It would take way too long to produce. So just purchase the workboat to again speed up production here. And that will, um, yeah, well, I, I forget what I was saying before I started new looking. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll continue on the next episode. Things are going pretty well. So I'll see you guys then.